what can you tell us? It's a much different scene here this morning than this time yesterday. It is still very much an active scene. Police are here uh, blocking off different intersections on Jarvis Avenue. This is all, of course, because of the warehouse fire from yesterday morning. Crews were called here at about 1243 a.m. for a very active fire after automatic alarms went off at the warehouse behind me, 274 Jarvis Avenue. When they got here, they launched an offensive attack, but after about 40 minutes, conditions were seriously deteriorating and they had to change tactics to a defensive attack. They were here for much of yesterday and continue to do so here today. The police are currently on scene of an incident this morning. CTV's Alex Brown is on site. Alex, where are you and what can you tell us at this point? Good morning, Catherine. I'm standing outside the Ramala Cafe on Pembina Highway and Nassau Street, where police were called at 11 p.m. last night with reports of a fight. Now, CTV News has spoken to police this morning. They can confirm that two were taken to hospital and one is in critical condition. Now, I did manage to speak to some employees of some of the stores in this plaza. They did not want to appear on camera, but they say they're not allowed in the parking lot. They can't go to work, and police are giving them no idea of how long they'll be waiting. CTV's Alex Brown has more on this week's Community Connection. Priority was given to those experiencing serious cavity issues or battling infection. The kids that we saw there, a lot of them had big swellings where they were inf had infections in their jaws and they were in pain. Janelle was diagnosed with kidney cancer when she was just 10 years old. She wasn't feeling well on a Christmas Eve three years ago. Her parents thought their daughter's pain may be linked to her appendix and took her to the emergency room. I was at the hospital and I had my surgery on Christmas Eve to remove my appendix. A power outage Tuesday afternoon led to malfunctioning traffic lights and delays in some areas, including Pemina Highway and Confusion Corner. Both Manitoba Hydro and city crews were out to help with the flow of traffic, but major delays caused headaches for commuters. The city also says crews have been out unplugging catch basins to reduce flooding. <laughs> Saskatchewan's new highway patrol hasn't hit the road just yet, but it's already testing out new police equipment. The team of roughly 30 officers will soon be sporting body cameras, the first in the province to test the technology. Now this will probably make you feel old. The first iPhone was released 11 years ago today. It was a lot bigger, heavier, and obviously slower than what we're used to today, but it really set the stage for the smartphone industry, and it didn't take long for things to progress. Mike Riley and the Edmonton S sent the Saskatchewan Rough Riders into a bye week on a losing note. Time. It's Mike Riley time. Touchdown. Riley ran in the game-winning touchdown as the Eskimos beat the Riders 26-19 on Thursday night. Zach Caleros went 22 for 34 with 261 yards and a touchdown in his return to the lineup for the Riders. The Riders now head into the bye week. They'll face Calgary when they come back. Wes Cates will be in at 8.40 this morning to break down the game in our Game Clock segment. Okay, it looked a little bit windy out there on some of our other traffic cameras this morning, but it's looking okay right now. Some of that smoke did clear off overnight due to a cold front. So right now we're sitting at 14 degrees, a little bit of wind coming out of the southeast at 24 kilometers an hour. So you're going to feel it. It is going to feel light. Most of the southern part of the province is still under an air quality statement um, due to the wildfire smoke from uh, BC and Alberta. So we're going to get into that a little bit later on, but just something to keep your eye on. If you do have any health conditions, definitely be aware it's going to persist through the weekend getting up to 31 degrees today of course the humidex is going to make it feel a little bit hotter than that clearing skies wind coming out of the south at 20 kilometers an hour tonight dropping down to 15 degrees partly cloudy skies and there is a risk of thunderstorm for a few hours um, for late this afternoon and early this evening only about a 30 percent chance but something to keep our eye on for sure now as for our weather tracker let's cycle through our friday here as we head into our lunch hour here in the queen cities you can see we have quite a bit of cloud cover and that's going to be the case for most of the southern part of the province. But then as we cycle through our Friday and head into the supper hour and into the evening, we're seeing that low pressure system from the states making its way into the province. And that's where we're going to see that consistent uh, period of light snow. It's not going to be a heavy snow, but it is going to be light and consistent. And of course, once that wind picks up, there could be uh, some visibility issues as well. But it looks like it's just going to stick around for Friday night into Saturday morning. Moment we've all been waiting for the finale of the franchise, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Tonight, as 
the war of Pan Am escalates, Katniss, as the reluctant leader of the rebellion, must bring together an army against the Capitol. Now, I read the Hunger Games books, and the Mockingjay book was definitely my favorite, mainly for its second half. It will be interesting to see what they keep from the books and what they decide to cut. I can't wait for the opening night of the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 on Friday, November 20th. That's going to do it for Theater Thursday. Make sure to tweet me your thoughts on all things cinema at AlexBrownCTV. And as always, happy watching. All right, we're throwing it back over to our Alex Brown. Outside at the Forks this morning, I saw some dancing getting underway. Are you going to show us your moves? Yeah. I mean, I might have to break it down. Yes, we were talking about, before I embarrassed myself, we are talking about hip hop down here at the Forks for Canada. Well, starting from the very base student level, what's something I can learn right now? Okay, so we'll do an old school move called the prep, all right? Okay. So uh, I don't know if you want to, I'll hold that for okay. you or something like that. Yeah, you want to put your hands up like this, palms down, and you're just going to move these side to side, then the other side, palms up right here. This is called the prep. Other side, other side. Other side, there you go. Yo, you got a balance. You got a real balance in there. I love it. Hip Hop Canada Day down here at the Forks. Be here, or what is it? Be there, be square? Be there, be square. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> as oh long as we're doing that, we're behind this 100%. Oh, for sure. Uh, your moves are on par there, Alex. Good job. Oh, to Alex of Brown at the RBC Ooh. Convention Center. Oh, look at this. You found some flowers there, did you? Oh, you just caught me unawares in my new kitchen. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. We're down here at the Winnipeg Renovation Show, and I like to live in a dream world where I get to live in these beautiful, beautiful spaces. But guess what? If this isn't your taste, maybe this one? Or perhaps this one. <laughs> this morning we are exploring all that the show has to offer. We're checking out different booths, different DIY tips, and talking all about the celebrity guest that's going to be featured later on in the show. And this does not look good. Checking in with Alex. What's up, Alex? Hey, no, you got that right. This is Riverwood at Netley. And as you can see, we have a transit bus stuck in kind of a sinkhole and ice situation. And the street is actually blocked off uh, completely on Riverwood from both ends. Now, local traffic can still enter, obviously, to get into their homes. Um, but this is completely blocking the middle of the street. Uh, we've got the hazards lights on. We've got the uh, safety uh, bridges up. Another thing, um, we're hearing reports uh, of uh, Osborne at Confusion Corner, there's been a pedestrian hit um, going south to St. Vital. So I'm going to be heading over there uh, in a few moments just to check out the situation and uh, see what we're dealing with. At the time of legalization on October 17th, Manitoba saw six cannabis stores open their doors. But the Liquor, Gaming and Cannabis Authority says this is just the beginning. I'm super excited yeah. about this one. Netflix has released the first photo of Olivia Colman as Queen Elizabeth II in The Crown. The official photograph of the British actress in the third season of the Netflix series was revealed on Twitter on Monday, accompanied by just one word, patience.